Getting engagement on LinkedIn is easy. We showed you how in our previous video. It will be linked to the i button. We did a mini case study on how we increased our post reach by 784% by just using carousals. That's right, you can use carousals to improve your LinkedIn organic reach and reach more people, get more engagement, get more comments, get more connections and whatnot. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can make a LinkedIn carousal. I'll be walking you through it step by step. So if you're here for the first time, hi, my name is Minank. I'm the social media manager of Pitchground and you're watching Pitchground Daily. Are you a part of our insanely amazing Facebook community? If not, click the link in the description to join. We share value posts every single day under the hashtag Pitchground Daily. Just a quick reminder that Black Friday is just 24 days away. That's right, you're just 24 days away from getting amazing SaaS softwares at 95% off. Did I just say SaaS softwares again? So right now, we are in Canva. In Canva, I've selected a design. I'll come back and show you. I'll choose the button to create a design on the left. And then I'll enter a custom dimension. The width would be 1920. The height would also be 1920. And I'll create a design. So here you get so many designs like this. You, you don't choose any design mm, then like you can choose any design but it has to like look neat. Now this one looks cool. This one looks like it's made for the presentation. So let's click this. I would say 10 ways to boost work productivity. I would change this title to how to schedule your day maybe. How to schedule your day for success. Or maybe I'll just write it as max success. Or I'll, I'll just success is enough. Yep. And then I'm going to write it as everyone wants to be successful. but only few people are able to and now i'll click this one and i'll just click on backspace i'll be like swipe to read and then i'll remove this i don't think so i want that i'll instead user graphics it's a predefined graphics i uploaded it and let me just find it out here it's here i just want to resize this and it becomes smaller perfect yep this looks cool this looks superb guys actually this is a good first screen i'm so happy with this i just want to click on add new page and now I'm going to add the first habit. The topic is how to schedule a day for success. And as everyone says, in order to be successful, you got to wake up early. So I'm just going to uh, add in a heading would be um, wake up early. Um, I'm sorry with the spellings, guys. Why is the, I mean, this, the font is so less. I just want to know. Yep, this looks good. I just want to change the font. I want to keep the font similar. So I'll just go up and I'll see which font is this. This is aileron heavy font. So I'm going to go and make this from April fat face to aileron heavy. Perfect looks good wake up early now i'm gonna search for some graphics early riser i'm gonna search it um i just can't find any proper graphics 
so i will just like um, sunrise no i'm not just finding any proper graphics so i'm gonna google it early riser i'm just gonna see what am i getting um i want an icons okay so i'm gonna search for early riser vector icons um i'm getting early bird we can use this for black friday that's night and i just wanna rise early and just go to a site called as flaticon they have pretty good icons guys flaticon i'm just gonna search for early riser and let's see what kind of icons do they have they don't have any icons this is bad this is bad i search for related keyword that is waking up in the morning so we'll have to find a non premium image that is without the crown let's search this on canva i'm going to search it as waking up in the morning let's see what we get um i'm not satisfied with the graphics quality so i would choose something from flaticon itself so i would choose let's say um something which doesn't which looks good and it's not premium and yeah i think i got a perfect icon here so i'll just click this icon i'll just download it i'll just free download it make sure you credit the author guys you have to because they're working hard for this kind of uh, graphics i'll just upload the graphics i just wake up so the graphic is kind of uploaded i'll just resize it and i'll keep it here and i'll just remove this here and then i want to find what font is this this aileron regular aileron heavy so aileron regular is for the text so i'll use aileron regular here again i will add a body of text oh my god this is way too small i'm going to add a subheading i'm going to make it um uh, 80 I'm going to make it middle. I'm going to make it aileron regular. I'm going to say something like waking up early has plenty of benefits. I'm just going to write some random paragraphs. So I just wrote some random paragraphs. I'm going to resize it. Oops, this is kind of tough. I'm going to make sure it's in the center. I'm just going to move this. I'm just going to make sure it's in this bubble. And I'm just going to make it look good. And I'm just going to add some little bit of spacing. And uh, I think this looks good, right? Yep, this looks pretty good to me, pretty decent. I'm just going to keep it in the middle. Allah, that's right. We have a first slide here. I also want to use the same colors like this brown color like this color th this image I just want to change this image right now I'll just google not google but watch in canva which is successful people I'll just search it I hope I find a great graphic or else I'll have to resort to google successful i'll just search for successful i'll just search for like professional maybe it takes time guys it takes time 
So I've completely changed the layout to blue color. You just have to click the square and choose it from blue. That's it. I also changed this line to blue. And I, because the image is blue, I'm trying to keep the colors here. So once you make this page up, I just clicked on this line, um, the small line right here. And then just, I clicked on copy and then I pasted it and this line came here. That's it. Now all I have to do is click on this button, which is copy page. I click on copy page and the page exactly gets copied. Now I can edit it and write my second text in here. So the second point is exercise. So I'll just load an exercise image and then I'll just make it a uh, big, a little bit bigger. It looks good. I just want to make sure it's in center. I'll just come here and I'll just click on delete. Oh, I'll just come back. I'll just click on delete element here. Yeah. So I want to click and delete this one second. And I'll just keep it here. Perfect. Now I can again edit this stuff. So I just wrote uh, something about exercise, like it's crucial, it helps a person stay fit, stimulate the brain, it'll help you feel happier, improve your memory, strengthens your body, improve breath flow and all that. And I personally do early morning walks, so I included that line as well. So we have wake up early, we have exercise, I'm going to copy this page again or probably this page but I'm going to make it down and I'm going to include my third point in here. The third point I would like to improve is meditation. I I personally believe that meditation is actually important to keep your mind clean and what do you call that as keep yourself sane and most importantly Meditation helps in getting clarity on your thoughts and that's what is more important. It helps in productivity as well. It helps you to stay happy. It helps you have a control on, over your thoughts. And that's why I would, I would exactly write the same thing on my copy. Again, I'll click it control Z. I'll just delete this. I'll just add this. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and keep it here. Perfect. Sounds great to me. Looks great to me. And I'm going to edit this again. So now the presentation is finally ready. It's like how to schedule your day for success. And the first point is wake up early. Second is to exercise. Third is to meditate. Fourth is to don't multitask, prioritize yourself, take breaks. And then adding the thank you page is important because in the thank you page, you can list your URLs, your website name, your Instagram accounts, your other accounts and whatnot. Now, since you're publishing this for LinkedIn, you have to click on the publish button, which is on the top right. And then you have to click on the download button. When you click on the download button, it will ask you the file type, which is suggested, but no, you have eight pages. Don't take PNG, but instead use PDF print. You can click on PDF print, which is high quality or standard. Anything is fine. You can have to download it because if you make it in a PDF or if you make it in a PNG format, LinkedIn won't make it as a carousal. So this is the most important. Definitely make this like really important guys P pdf is important okay pdf i'll click on download so this was my step-by-step -step process on how you can make a linkedin carousal for yourself wasn't it simple so that was the quick tutorial on how you can make a linkedin carousal post using canva so if you have made a LinkedIn carousal post after watching this video, do tag me. My handle is here 
and do type pitch ground as well and we would love to see your carousals. Until then, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.